Grazie Robert għalli sitt il-ħin tiltaqa miħaj. Grazie li l-komu kol għalli ġejtu. Għamminjajt il-li l-azla ta' speċċi ta' ħut il-li nsibu fl-akwa kultura madwar Malta jaffit limitata. Għapparti l-aċxol u t-tonn li t-kallimna fuqa min ġima noħra. Għetti sirx sports biex jizdidu l-speċċi ta' ħut biex koni ktar azla? Iva, fil-fatt diversifikazzjoni hija wahda mill-lames principali taħna li nipproduċu ħafna speċi differenti ta' ħut iġbi għapparti l-aċxol u t-tonn faqqasna u koll l-gurbell u s-sargi u għanki għet naħdmu fuq ħuti uħor bħal ċerna, per eżempju, u bħal denċju, bħal pagri l-ħomor, u għapparti ħut, iġifiri, għet namlu esperimenti u koll bil-rizzi u bil-ħjar tal-baħar. U rizzi u l-ħjar tal-baħar għet jitkabru fl-akwa kultura? Iva, dawna faqqas njom u koll u kabbar njom sa ċertu periodu, fuq skala zajra, u dawna għanna l-mira li eventualment jitrabbew u koll, per eżempju, taħt il-gadġeċ tal-aw ras tal- biex u ma jitimu fuq l-fdali jit li jibqa min l-istess gadġeċ. U fil-fatt, dan xoħ li sir kollu fil-ħeċri, u għanna tanki t-esperimentali għalijom, u nista niħdog biex tilta għama l-manager tal-ħeċri, Angus Sharman. Nista għammorru? Iba, nista għadduna. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming. From what I've seen, you're working on a few different species. Uh, what sort of research are you carrying out exactly? Uh, well, traditionally we carry out research with uh, marine finfish, such as uh, bream and bass, uh, tuna, amberjack. Uh, we've also started working with red sea bream, uh, denchi, mega, and a species of grouper. And we've also started to look at invertebrates. And what are invertebrates for those viewers who uh, don't know exactly? Um, well, an invertebrate is technically um, it's an animal which doesn't have a backbone. So that will include uh, animals such as insects, uh, mollusks, crustaceans like crabs or lobsters, uh, worms. Um, there's a, a large, large range of different invertebrates. In our case, uh, we've, we've got sea cucumbers and sea urchins. Is it difficult to rear uh, the larvae of these invertebrates? Uh, Sea urchins are actually very sensitive to um, poor water quality. So with sea urchins we have to take a bit more care about uh, the quality of the water when compared to finfish. Sea cucumbers are a bit more tolerant. Um, in terms of the larvae rearing, the early stages uh, for these invertebrates is uh, quite a bit easier than it is for marine finfish. Um, as with these species, they actually only need to be given microalgae. Um, very small single-celled algae for feed. Um, they don't need the other live food organisms like rotifers or artemia, which other, uh, which marine finfish would need. So I know that sea urchins are quite popular with uh, the local population, but what about sea cucumbers? You, you mentioned sea cucumbers. Yes, that's right. Um, well, there isn't much of a market for sea cucumbers in Malta um, or in Europe as a whole, although there is a small market in Spain. Uh, the main market. Uh, it's a very large market, is in China, uh, and it's an ever increasing market because the wild populations, uh, the wild fisheries for sea cucumbers is massively decreasing. So the, uh, in Asia, they're, they're looking abroad uh, to see where they can source sea cucumbers from. And actually, already there are many, many countries around the Mediterranean which are already exporting these species to Asia, but as yet, no one is actually farming them. And is it the species of sea cucumbers that we find along our shores that is uh, fit for human consumption? Uh, there's many species which are suitable for human consumption. Uh, this species um, is consumed in Asia, it's already exported. There's other species around Malta which live in the, the deeper water. Um, you won't find them if you go snorkeling, but they are further offshore. Uh, and these species, they actually they have a very high market value and can reach uh, between 50 and 500 euros a kilo. So when compared with uh, fish species, that's uh, a very high, high, high value. So obviously the market value is one of the reasons for developing this sort of yes, aquaculture. Yes, that's right, yeah. 
um, what are the survival rates um, at, the, at this point and how long would, will it take to uh, develop satisfactory survival rates? Well, the, the survivals are actually quite low at the moment if you, when compared with fish larvae. Um, on average it's about 0.5% until they get to a market size of, um, well it varies from species to species, but um, after about two years or three years um, it's about 0.6%, whereas with, on average, thin, thin fish it would be about 20% or 30%. Um, with sea urchins, there are several other uh, institutions around Europe which are carrying out research, so the progress may be slightly more rapid. In the case of our species of sea cucumber, we're the, the first to actually spawn them in Europe, um, and so there's very little uh, research for us to uh, refer to, so it's all um, it's all new research that we're carrying out. What do these uh, sea urchins and sea cucumbers eat? What do you feed them? Uh, well, sea urchins, we feed them uh, a type of mackerel algae, so that's a large algae, uh, and you'll see it on the on the beaches around around Malta called um, ulva. We also feed them a type of uh, dried mackerel algae called kelp, um, which is actually grown in an aquaculture environment in Japan. Uh, and we also feed them a, our own homemade recipe of carrot cake, which is a mixture of eggs, carrots, and, uh, and uh, vitamins, which we add. And the sea cucumbers, they are what's called detritivores, and they, they basically, they ingest the sand, they don't eat the sand, but they will absorb the, any organic material, like bacteria, um, that is contained within the sand. Angus, do you think that the research facilities here at Fort San Luchan are adequate for the sort of research that you're carrying out? Uh, well, the facilities of here have uh, allowed us to make a, a, an initial start on some very small scale studies with these invertebrates. Um, in my opinion, if we want to move forward and uh, increase uh, the rate of research so that we can uh, move forward and maybe bring these species to uh, the production environment, then we, we certainly need some improved facilities. Thanks Angus for your time and good luck with your work. Thank you. Thank you. Robert, I'm going to ask you about the research. How do you think about the research, especially in the study of the species of the hoots? How do you think about the resources and how do you imagine the facility to get rid of it? What is the plan of the government? Eva, we have the facility to get rid of it, obviously, because we have the diversification of the hoots. و البيانيت تاع الجفير نوما اللي او بتشارك في التوري وهن برودوكتو نبنو هاتش فوق سكال اكبر في سكال اندستريالي او كوميرشالي وكل فين كنا نستنى نعمل داك نيدو وابلايد ريسيرش على الاندستريا ونسبراو اللي داو البيانيت يمشوا لقدام و بالهاتش الكبير اللي عندنا بزون تجي كرياتا خلي وكل دان التوري يتحلى باش يتقاو دام البوبليكو مالتي Grazie Roberta Hintia, con un augurio al concorso di successo per Soltacom, alle ci sentendi o a quello che ha agito all'industria, all'acquacoltura. Grazie mille, come ancora.